returning to our event procedure, we'll now do some work with some numeric variables. So first of all, I'll just place comments in front of each of the lines that we've written so that they don't execute the next time round. And we'll begin again declaring some of our numeric variables. So by placing our comments with the apostrophe at the beginning of each line, none of those lines will be executed. In our next example, we'll store an integer value in a variable called num. And we'll again begin by declaring it. So we write dim num as integer. So in this case, we're making use of our integer data type that we met earlier. And suppose we want to store the value 15 in the variable num. So again, we're assigning the value 15 to the variable num. And we write num equals 15. Remember, the effect of this line is simply to store the value 15 in the memory location or variable that we are calling num. Now suppose we want to add 3 to the value that's already in num and put our new result back into the location num. So when we're finished, we should now have the value 18 in num. Then we write num equals num plus 3. Remember that the equal sign in this line means the assignment operator. So the variable on the left of it is where we want to put our result. So in this case we're saying we want to put our result into num. On the right hand side then we've got num plus 3 which means take what was already in num which was 15 and add 3 to it, giving us 18. So the line then reads, into the variable num, which is appearing on the left hand side, put the value 18. Let's check that this worked by displaying num in our text box in the same way as we did for the last example. So we write txt result dot text equals, and we'll make a little message, so the number is ampersand num. Now let's run that and check that it worked. And again, when our form appears, we click the button to execute the code. So let's click it and see. And we can see that our message comes up, the number is, and the contents of the variable num is now 18. And we return to our event procedure. Now we'll declare another data type, but before we do that, uh, let's put comments again in front of the lines of code that we've just written so that they won't execute. So again, we use our apostrophe to do that. And back down here. So now we're going to declare two variables which can hold decimal values. For example, the price of an item and perhaps the total of, of a number of those items, the total price. So let's declare two variables, dim price as double, total as double. Now let's store the value 1.40 in price. We can do this as follows, price equals 1.40. And now let's calculate the total price of five items, each with a price of 1.4. So we can write total equals price multiplied by 5, meaning that the total, the value that goes into total is whatever value was in price multiplied by 5. And again, we can display the contents of total in our text box, just as we did in the earlier examples. So we'll write txt result dot text equals and again we can create a message the total so we're total is so we're simply constructing a string ampersand total and now let's run that again and just check that it worked so we click on the run button and we click on our button and we see that the total is 7. And if we look at our code, price had the value 1.4 stored in it. Price multiplied by 5, 
was 1.4 by 5, which is 7. That value is stored in 7, and our line of code asked us asked that the text box show the total is the, followed by the contents of total, which was 7. And finally, let's look at a way of declaring a variable and assigning it a value in a single line. So just before we do that, we'll again comment out the lines of code that we did earlier so that they don't execute. And now, suppose I have a variable called age, which I'm going to store as an integer, and I wish to store the value 21 in it. I can declare it and assign a value like this, dim age as integer, so that's declaring it as an integer, equals 21, which assigns the value and declares it all in the one line. So again, remember that when we want to assign values to variables or memory locations, the value that we want to assign is always on the right hand side of the equal sign or what we call the assignment operator and the variable that we want to where we want to store that value always appears on the left hand side in our next lesson we'll have a look at getting some input from the user from text boxes storing that input in variables and then doing some calculations and outputting to text boxes